position. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy DZP, the Dark Zone Pilot, here today with another video. And this one's an exciting one because I feel like this is going to help you guys out a lot. Something that a lot of you guys have been requesting and something that's very sought out after. Um, a lot of people are having some trouble with it, but hopefully this guide will help you out in finding Ray Barrett's chest piece. Yes, Barrett's bulletproof chest piece. Freaking awesome. Uh, I got one to drop the other day and some other stuff to drop as well. So I'm going to give many tips on um, how to get LeRae's chest piece, where to find it and all that stuff. And um, some ways to maximize how quickly you can actually get it because you're going to be playing these missions a lot. So um, let's get straight into it. So where do you get this chest piece? So one of the ways is you can farm Lexington to your heart's content as many times as you can take it. Um, another way is field proficiency caches, which we're going to get into that, and survival caches as well, which is probably the worst way to get it because it's the slowest and least frequent um, amount of times you're going to be getting that, and it's not guaranteed that you're going to get it. So I would highly recommend Lexington, and I'm going to go over some steps on how to get it, but let's go over the actual chess piece first. Um, we have two skills on cooldown. This is what's very interesting about this chess piece is that you will get 10% more skill power. And um, one thing to note, it's not showing here because you have to kind of, it's glitched right now, so you have to take it off and put it back on. I know it's a little annoying, but for what I had to go through to get it out, deal with it for now and massive, I know they'll end up fixing it in the future, but 10% uh, extra skill power. When no skills are on cooldown, uh, you get 5% extra damage from one skill is on cooldown and then you get 10% more armor when both your skills are on cooldown so it's great synergy it's a perfect uh, build just for the game uh, PvE PvP doesn't matter how you play it it's going to be great for you but like I said until they fix that little uh, issue that they have with it you're going to have to take it off and put it back on um, I would say every time you come out of the elevator anytime there's any type of loading screen uh, screen turns black or anything like that so you're going to have to do that um, so let's get into the field proficiency caches. Um, you'll see in the beginning of this mission, um, I'm just gonna rank up like right here or something like that. So it's fairly, you know, the beginning of the mission that my, where my experience points are, um, minus a few kills here and there. And um, at the end of this clip, you'll see how much experience points I gain. Uh, a while ago, I made a video for the people that were coming back to this game saying that, you know, at least have some kill XP stuff or a set. Well, I did that for 1.5 and it actually came in handy here. I didn't get the LeRae chest piece from the caches, but I got other stuff like the holster, um, the mask and things like that. And what you want to do is, as you see how much XP I got just from that mission alone, I got somewhere about 300, uh, well over 350,000 uh, experience points. Um, on your chest piece, mask and knee pads, you can put kill XP. Now for me, I didn't put it on the mass because I want my damage to be in the mass you know and I think you get with 12 14 percent extra kill XP so I wasn't truly worried about it I mean I think I'm sitting at 81 percent right here as you'll see how much uh, XP I actually gained from the mission look at that that's a that's a lot of XP it's a lot so and you know you won't get a field proficiency cast every single time you do the mission but you'll be like right there you know what I mean you won't be far off from getting the experience that you need um, this will help maximize how much uh, kill XP you get also one thing that you really want to go into is that this is like the best kept secret right now for kill XP is those that knee pad that I just showed you accomplished knee pads triples the amount of experience points and rewards that you get from accolades accolades being headshots uh, reviving people, uh, kills with explosives, you know, anything out of the ordinary realm of just shooting, you will get um, extra XP. And once you hit a checkpoint, it's going to show you in the right hand corner, not that right hand corner, but on the right hand side of the screen, um, exactly what you did. How many headshots, um, you know, different things like Team Survivor there, you get points for that. Those uh, points that you get are now tripled when you have that knee, well, they'll have those knee pads on. So. You want to make sure you have that anytime you're farming for XP because that one, it gives you more incentive to like go for headshots and things like that and play out of your regular comfort zone and you get rewarded for it. Look at this right here. This is very important. A lot of people restart the mission. You want to make sure you run out of the mission so it gives you your final little XP for finishing and stuff like that. A lot of people miss out on that. That's about a good, I don't know, what was that, 12,000 XP? 
just for running out of the mission instead of fast traveling. If someone tells you they're going to give you 12,000 XP to run from here to there, why not do it? You know, it's, it's only going to help you get your caches a lot quicker. And the better you do, the more points you'll get. So it'll actually make you want to get those um, headshots and stuff. Uh, I have a sniper rifle that still has a scope from, I believe, 1.3 that has a uh, headshot kill. It's one of those VX12 scopes. It's so that headshot kill XP. So that right there helps out a lot too. So, you know, I use a sniper rifle a lot of times when I'm farming, so that way I can stack up that accolade points. A lot of people don't know about that. So I would make sure you tell your friends and everything about that. That's a, a really good way if you're going with an all yellow gear set like myself to get, you know, more experience points. And um, you should get more caches and that is a legitimate source for your name gear, so. Um, guys, I really hope this helped you out. Um, it's going to be, it's it's going to be a lengthy battle to get these knee pads. Not knee pads, excuse me, the uh, chest piece. It's just how it is. It's RNG. It's RNG to the max. I don't even know what the exact percentage is because there's no real loot table right now for it. But um, you know, like I always preach, just have patience. Um, be humble when you do receive it. Can, you know just kind of reflect on how much time it took to actually get it it'll make you really savor it and want it more if you have another end up getting to you know hand it off to a friend or a random or something like that just help the community grow because it is kind of stressful to, to get this kind of gear and stuff like that and a lot of people have just frankly given up but hopefully these extra tips will really help out um i'm thinking they will it's been pretty successful for me so far i don't know why i didn't think of the accomplished knee pads before but let me know in the comment section what you guys think and how it actually turned out for you guys so let me know what you found how quickly you found it if this actually helped and if it didn't help you know let me know because you know like i always say if i don't get you this time i'll try to get you in the next one so this is dzp the dark zone pilot and i'm out of here stay safe in the dark zone and survival agents and good luck finding your name gear pieces i know you can do this